Good afternoon. Police carrying out a murder investigation in Bristol say that a man who died from head injuries had been set on fire. The man in his 40s was found outside a block of flats close to his home in Brislington on Sunday. Today, police confirmed he'd been questioned by officers two days before his death. Two men are in custody on suspicion of murder. Two women who are also arrested have been released on bail. The headquarters of Avon Fire and Rescue could move from Bristol to a new building in Canesham and Speedwell and Kingswood stations could be merged. It's all part of plans to save £3 million over three years. The proposals are to be discussed at a meeting of the Avon Fire Authority on Friday. The service is also looking to reduce staff by around 80 people over four years. Royal Mail want to alert people about dog attacks on post workers. In the last two years, there have been more than 5,000 attacks on Royal Mail employees. Phil Gray was attacked when he was doing his rounds in Bath. Well, I was out delivering my mail as normal. Uh, I got to a property where I knew there was a dog, and I, but I'd done all the right things. I shut the gate, I stopped, I made noises, but there was no sign of the dog, so I thought it was safe to go in. I, I opened this gate took about two or three steps and within that the dog came shooting from around the side of the house and he lunged straight at me and he caught me well he bit me where men didn't like to be bit and you can see more on that story on the program tonight at six o'clock the chief constable of avon and somerset police stopped a motorist for jumping a red light nick gargan was driving through eastern in bristol last night when he sprang into action he told his followers on twitter now, the humble computer mouse has become part of everyday life for the majority of us, but it's a little known fact that the idea for it was the brainchild of a man from Bristol. Richard Payne has been hearing about Professor Ralph Benjamin's remarkable story. Behind his desk on the outskirts of Bristol, Ralph Benjamin works on his latest project, how to improve the detection of small boats and rocks in rough seas. It illustrates an unending determination and inquiring mind which has placed him ahead of his time. It was the same in 1947, when the idea of the computer mouse was born. Not that the man himself realised the significance at the time. I'm certainly pleased that it's become so useful. The professor was working for the Royal Navy, plotting radars on a screen when he made the discovery. The work was patented to keep it secret, but never commercially exploited, until American Doug Engelbart did so in the 1970s. So does his predecessor feel any sense of regret? Oh, none whatever. Ideas do, do get reinvented again and again, probably in a new context which uh, gives, uh, makes them relevant where they might not otherwise have been. The 91-year-old has learned not to bear a grudge, Born in Germany in 1922, he was sent to Switzerland to escape the Nazis. His parents did not and were victims of Auschwitz. Rolf Benjamin went on to achieve major academic success and having moved to London, he conquered the subjects of science, engineering and communications. Rolf Benjamin went on to work at Cheltenham's GCHQ where he worked to foil IRA bomb plots. More recently, he's made advances in detecting buried landmines and cancerous breast tumours. There is, however, some parts of modern technology he is still to master. I've got a mobile phone, but I use it really only uh, as a reserve. So the man who gave us the mouse may be leaving new technology alone, at least for a while. Richard Payne, ITV News, Bristol. Now it is another gorgeous day out there with today's forecast. Here's Alex. Hello, there is plenty more sunshine on the cards over the next few days. Staying pretty hot as well, temperatures close to 30, particularly tomorrow afternoon and always high levels of UV. So make sure you do protect yourself and also keep yourself cool if you're going to be out and about for long periods of time. This is the pressure pattern for the next few days. There's a lack of isobars on the chart and that's because high pressure is firmly in control 
for most parts of the UK, particularly for us here in the southwest. So, as I say, temperatures going nowhere for the time being. Make sure you do protect yourself with sun cream when you are going to be outside. This afternoon, it's wall-to-wall -wall sunshine and temperatures reaching 27, maybe 29 degrees Celsius for some local spots, and only a light breeze to speak of. And that does mean it will be feeling very warm, particularly away from the Bristol Channel. This evening, it stays very fine, and the temperatures only falling away very slowly. So it's going to be pretty uncomfortable for sleeping yet again, lows of 14 or 15 degrees Celsius, largely on the clear side, but there may be some mist patches just forming, but that will burn off very quickly once the sun gets to work tomorrow morning. And again, it's going to be blue skies, water-to-water -water sunshine really from the off. Temperatures 21 or 22 through the morning time going into the afternoon, probably 29 or 30, particularly down towards the south coast with parts of Dorset. And again, just a light breeze to speak of. Staying further ahead, high pressure stays in charge, so more sunshine and hot temperatures on the way. Suffering from hay fever. ICV Pollen Count is sponsored by Benadryl. With the fine weather staying with us over the next few days, pollen levels will be staying high, particularly in the evening, so watch out then. And that is all from me this lunchtime. You can, of course, catch up with all the day's news on our website. The details are on your screen now. I'm back, though, with Ian Axton at 6 o'clock this evening. Until then, have a very good afternoon. Enjoy the sunshine. Bye-bye.